Welcome back everyone to another Premiere tutorial with Gladia. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a couple brief shortcuts. Okay, so we got Premiere all loaded up here. And so as I said, a couple really brief shortcuts. So the ones that I personally use the most, there is the C key. So if you press C, it'll change to this little snippy razor tool. So say you wanted to say this is probably the clip I want. So I'm just going to click there and click there. And we got two happy nice cuts. Then the next shortcut is going to be the V key. The V key changes you back to your normal cursor, which allows you to select things. So since I cut there, I probably don't want these two clips. So then I can easily just select those after my cuts. And then because I'm doing this, I'm just going to ripple delete this. To ripple delete, you can either right click and go up to ripple delete. Or you can hold down the shift key and press delete and it will do a ripple delete. The other really helpful shortcut, uh, I'm just kind of guessing here, but based off the audio, I'm guessing this is where my final take actually went good on the intro. So I use the C key to do that. I'm going to use the V key again, select those, and I'm not going to do a ripple delete this time because I want to show off another keyboard shortcut. So I'm just going to press delete and I've got all this empty space. But there's also all of these things this way. So the easiest way to select that is to press A. The A key will bring up these little arrows. And then you can click wherever you want. Say I wanted to click there and it will select everything to the right of that point I clicked. Then again, I can press the V key to go back to my normal toggle and just drag those back to the beginning. I know a ripple delete would have been easier, but at least you now know the major keyboard shortcuts I use. So remember, C is for cutting, V is to go back to your selection arrow, A allows you to select everything to the right, and Shift Delete will ripple delete things. Well, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and hopefully I will see you next time.